is it safe, or advisable, to compress Windows Installer folder via NTFS compression? The title pretty much explains the question. Aside from the obvious, speed, is it generally safe or advisable to compress via NTFS compression the C column backslash windows backslash installer folder given that it's within the windows folder. I'm using an SSD so personally the speed issue isn't that important to me, plus I'm running Win 7 within a VM so I'm accustomed to higher IO latency. Except for speed issues, there is a lot of discussion here on that topic with some saying it is actually beneficial to performance in some ways, there is no issues in using NTFS compression a current Windows installation disk and all its folders in it. Your files are there, available, they do not really change to a secret compressed file or something, this is done at the file system level. Performance is not worse depending on opinions and some tests. They are recoverable using the Windows Repair Utilities or by connecting your disk to another computer, besides, nothing important is ever kept inside, see column backslash windows, your important files should be elsewhere. Microsoft has put together some guidelines about NTFS compression, have a look at them. I have used NTFS compression for ages now on complete file systems on several clients and Windows versions and never had an issue because of the compressed file system. Yes, there is nothing special about the installer directory that requires them to be uncompressed. In the old days, there were piles of installer files like unwise.exe unvice32.exe, uninstall.exe, etc. on the backslash windows backslash directory, sometimes shared, sometimes not. The backslash windows backslash installer folder is the windows installer cache, which allows each program to maintain its own installation program, similar to how the WinSC folder helps to avoid DLL hell. In general, it is used to store slash cache the basic installer for programs, so that when you want to modify an installed program, it runs from there and allows you to uninstall or possibly even do a repair without needing the original installation media, and so there should be no adverse effects from setting it to use NTFS compression. Some programs choose to store their entire installer which of course is undesirable, but fortunately those are rare, most just store a smaller installer file, like unwise32.exe, in the old days, with the basic installation information. Most programs don't use the files in the installer folder at all and they only come into play when you make a change with add slash remove programs. Occasionally however, you may find a program that actively uses some of the files, particularly by setting the icon of their shortcuts, in the start menu, desktop, etc., to point to the rproducticon.exe file in its installer cache. In most cases, you can compress or remove the files and put them back when you want to make a change, modify, repair, uninstall. In fact, the folder is ultimately a cache of installation files, so you can even delete them and just use the original installation media. NB, it is not only programs that cache their installation files in the installer folder, Windows itself keeps patches and service pack data in there as well, so if you delete them, updates may not work, and theoretically, you might have to reinstall Windows. Don't just move slash delete the entire contents willy-nilly, take a look at what is in there. SQL Server, and other databases too, may not be running normally if you install them on a compressed partition. They may simply fail to install. Here is a post describing the scenario. I also encountered this on SQL Server 2014 Express, 